Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a full moon reading for October 1st. So, this is for around October 1st, okay? So, October 1st, 2020, full moon reading. I believe this is an Aries full moon, okay? So, that's it's in it is in uh, Libra season but it is an Aries full moon so we're gonna go ahead and get started what do we have for the full moon around October 1st let's start right here what do we have for the full moon around October 1st The Waiting Game, Two of Wands. The Waiting Game. Time's almost up. It's time to make a choice. This is two paths, decisions, options. It's time for something. It's time. It's time for a change. It's time for something to blossom. It's time to choose. There's an opportunity to broaden your horizon. Okay, it's, there's an opportunity to broaden your horizons, to change your destination. Angel of Love. So there's an opportunity for love here. This is about following your heart. We have an angel, I mean, to me, this card is about an, uh, a universal force, right? Or an outside force guiding somebody to follow their heart. This is all about love. What does your heart want? You have to make a choice in regards to what your heart wants. There's definitely a level of indecision here and needing to make a choice, needing to choose. Do you want to stay where you're at or do you want to go? There's an opportunity for expansion. Your heart knows the way. Are you going to follow your heart or are you going to ignore it? Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody is not has not put in enough effort. There's no growth. There's no growth. There's no growth left. It's time to go someplace else. Six of Cups. There's a lot of memories here. Memories of the past that are holding somebody back. It is going to be a time of remembrance. Time of this is nostalgia. This could have to do with moving away from home, okay? Leaving, because this is like relocation and this is the past. You know, leaving the past behind, moving away from home, choosing a new hometown or something like that, digging up roots and planting them someplace else. This does have something to do with roots, 
there'll always be memories, but if there's no more growth there, perhaps it's time to go. Six of Wands is making progress. It's giving up the fight. It's all done fighting. It's taking a noble approach. It's 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 uh, victory after sorrow with that victory wreath. So there's an opportunity for victory here. But it's going to take strength and confidence. It's going to, it's going to take strength and confidence. We do have a strong individual here who has fought a good fight. They fought, they already have, they've already fought a good fight. They've already been in some sort of battle. Now it's time to relax. It's time to uh, kick back and relax, you know, to, to live. Now it's time to just be free. Ah, judgment. Judgment is a card of absolution. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an ending. It's the end of things. This is a wake-up call. This is, are you ready to be judged? This is a life-changing decision. This is surrender. This is release. This is forgiveness. This is asking for forgiveness. Somebody maybe, uh, this is a new life. Somebody maybe, it feels as though we have a fighter here who is all done fighting. They have made a decision. They have made a decision to end something. They've reached the end of that life, right? It's the end of that lifetime. It's the end of that trial, okay? Because judgment is about trial. They've, they've learned some sort of lesson in that battle, now it's time to uh, end it. It's time to end. It's time to, you know, be judged for what they did. You know what I mean? It's time to answer. Answer the call. You know, somebody is answering a call. Okay, there's a call that is going to be answered. And it's funny because when I started, I was going to start this reading a few minutes ago, probably 10 minutes ago, but I got a call. And I was going to start out the reading by, by explaining to you that I'm late on this reading because I had to answer a call. But here we are. So everything is part of the reading. You know, somebody is answering a call. They're answering a call. They're, they're being called to be honest and to be truthful and to release and accept Except that something is over. So somebody may be getting a call that something has ended. You know, this battle is over. This fight is over. Um, now, but this is a wake-up call of some sort. It's over. This is over. It's it's time. This is a this is like a new life. Somebody is dissatisfied with an, what they've done in the past. This is the past. This is the past. There's past here. Somebody has made some mistakes in the past. There's going to be being judged for their past as well. So there's judgment for past. Just so you know. But this is a card of success and victory. So if there is some sort of success to be had. There's some sort of public recognition. So there's there is there's public rec somebody's being publicly recognized for something they've done. Um, but anyway, judgment is an absolution. It is the end of the trial. It's the end. The trial has been had. Now it's over. A decision is being made. This is a life-changing decision to relocate and to stop fighting this battle. Okay? So the decision is being made that there's no growth here. There's no, no reason to invest. You know? There's a lot of good memories, but 
that is in the past okay and there is some sort of guidance here like I said okay I said that at the beginning there's some sort of universal guidance you know that is somebody is being guided to accept and release okay so accept and release so there is going to be that um, it's time it's time remember I said the time's almost up it is definitely time see this the hourglass it's time it's time to release the past okay so somebody needs to release the past and they've been, probably been you know we got all these people that that think there's gonna be a reconciliation right I don't think that's the case okay somebody has been investing you know in the past and the past is the past get it do you got it do you understand that okay now we have a positive change a cycle is coming to an end this is the end of a cycle okay it's the end of a karmic cycle the wheel is spinning in a new direction this is actually positive change so there is some sort of positive change here that is coming some sort of truth is about to be revealed the truth is coming out the truth is going to come out the truth is going to be spoken and a decision is going to be made Page of Pentacles reverse. This is giving up. It is. This is dropping out. This is somebody that is no longer interested in fighting, no longer interested in doing anything. So somebody is giving up. They are definitely giving up. There's nothing solid. There's nothing stable. This isn't practical. It's not realistic. This is like a dead end. Somebody has lost their focus. And it's like they're ready. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to do they're ready to be the judge. They're ready to end this situation, whatever it is. They're just ready. They're ready. They're ready to be held accountable. Somebody is ready to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody that now we have foolish behavior a couple times here. We so we have somebody here that has been foolish. They've made some poor mistakes, poor judgment calls. They've made some poor judgment calls. They've they've acted impulsively and they they let society get in the way of them making the right decisions. Somebody has uh, been controlled by society by social pressure and now there's a feeling of being disgraced we have somebody that had a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure now this person is about to be judged whoever this person is karma judgment truth this is headed for a fall we have somebody here that is uh, impulsive that ignores advice both this card and this card so we have somebody here that doesn't listen to any advice this person is a know-it-all they uh, don't like to be held accountable for their actions now this person is about to be judged they're about to be judged whoever this person is did not live a very spiritual life or is not very spiritual at this time. Uh, this is somebody buddy, who really uh, was worried about what the public thought. Was very worried about what everybody else had to say. Now this person has gone through some sort of awakening or karma has hit them in some way. 
and they are disgraced and they are embarrassed because I feel like they uh, have missed an opportunity or they've lost something of value. Okay? Feels like they've lost something of value and now they're embarrassed, they're, they're disgraced. Karma works in mysterious ways. There's some sort of unfinished business here with that fool reversed. We could we could have something that uh, well, there's there's unfinished business with the past. Somebody did not want to take responsibility for their past. They didn't own up to responsibility. Now they're experiencing some sort of loss. There's been there's been no growth there's there's been no growth maybe in their in their bank account or their business or something like that because karma has affected them in that way we have somebody here that um wasn't probably a very good father either this may be a father figure this person may have may have uh, shirked or whatever you want to say that word is they 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 uh skipped out on their fatherly duties, okay, to, uh, to fight, to fight a, a war with, with society, you know what I mean, this person was more interested in what, uh, everybody else, the neighbors and, and the world had to say about who they were than taking care of their children, you know, we have somebody here that did not accept responsibility for their children or something like that. They chose, they chose, uh, uh, the public recognition that they could get from their dealings over, um, responsibilities. Anyhow, um, we do have a fall from power here. We have a fall from grace. Somebody could actually even fall, like fall down. They may fall and they may not get up. They may not get up. It's just saying, I do feel as though um, somebody is going to be releasing the past. And I think it's unplanned. I think it's an unplanned release, okay? It is unpl it's unplanned. It's like it just, it just happens. It just happens. They release the past in a way that they did not expect. I feel like uh, it happens all of a sudden. Um, there's probably going to be some sort of conflict, okay? I think that there's some sort of uh, message. There's some sort of message that is coming. It's probably not a good message. It's probably some sort of bad news. I feel like there could be news of legalities as well with these two cards. Somebody may receive some news of, of uh, you know, upcoming uh, legal cases coming up against them. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that um, is going to be speaking. This person is going to be speaking. They're going to, and it could be public speaking. They may be speaking. There could be some news that comes out, comes out on the news. There could be some sort of news that is, that comes out that really embarrasses a person and that, uh, is very, very embarrassing. Anyhow, um, we have a very stubborn, egotistical individual here who wants to win at all costs. This person does not care who they hurt. Not even for one second. Um, this person is obsessed with control. Refuses to go in and struggling to let go of any other perspective that other than their own. We, I mean, this person is, is refusing to see any other perspective. Um, I think we have somebody here that is hiding something. Um, that will not change, that refuses to change. This person is very, very egotistical. This person is about to receive a wake-up call of some sort. This is a Pisces, or um, could be a Pisces. Somebody missed an opportunity. 
they missed an opportunity, but now they're they're about to see an opportunity really, really fast. Something is going to happen that uh, I feel like like it's shock. I do feel like it's a shock. I feel like somebody is about to become enlightened the hard way. They're about to lose something that uh, had some sort of financial value in their life. I think we have somebody here that acted foolishly. They acted impulsively. They let society get in the way. They let their ego drive. And I feel like their ego has driven them in the wrong direction. And they're about to find themselves face to face. Probably with maybe an, even an enemy. Okay. That page of swords can be an enemy. Um, there could be an upcoming battle with that six of wands. There could be. And it could be unexpected. Um, somebody did something in the past that they are now going to be held accountable for. Okay, it's almost like there's a sentence, a consequence of some sort. They're going to be held accountable for the, their actions, for their uh, foolish decisions, for their pride, for their for their ego. Somebody's going to be held accountable for their for their mistakes, and they're going to lose something of of uh, a tangible value. Okay, I think it's a financial value. Um, and it's karmically related. Um, I do feel it has to do with past actions or pack, past uh, responsibilities that weren't taken seriously. Somebody didn't focus on their children. It's almost like they abandoned their children or they chose to live a life that didn't include their children. You know, they chose a life... Um, Where they didn't invest in their children and now they're going to pay the price for that. That kind of, that's what I see. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that refuses to learn a lesson that is not learning their lesson. That is still controlled by social pressure. This person is about to have a conflict with somebody, a fight with somebody. Um, uh, some sort of battle. There's going to be a fight because this person needs to learn their lesson and, ref and and will not learn their lesson. It's almost like will not apologize. The hangman in reverse is somebody that refuses to apologize, will not apologize, uh, will not forgive. And forgiveness is needed here. Forgiveness is needed. And this person will not forgive. And if you can't forgive, then you are not very awakened okay forgiveness is key is a key part of awakening so there's a lack of forgiveness here and but ego and pride is in the way which is causing somebody not to forgive so anyhow i do feel that uh we have uh somebody that is about to f this is a fall from grace okay they're about to they're about to, it's almost like falling flat on their face you know um because they don't act with integrity. They can't apologize. They can't do the right thing because of their ego, because of their pride. So whoever this person is that is so egotistical is about to receive a wake-up call. And this is a major awakening. This has to do with with uh, having something taken away that, 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 that knocks that chip right off their shoulder. Do you know what I mean? There is something of financial value that is going to be stripped right away and it's going to humble them. Okay, somebody is going to be humbled. Um, yeah, that's what I see. This may have something to do with a child. There could be a child, a child, some, and, and this may, and this doesn't have to be a young child. Okay, somebody's child takes action, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, I do believe there's going to be some sort of direct contact, direct communication that, uh, and it's angry. I think we have somebody here that is angry. This person may even have a, have a weapon, I don't know. This person um, is, is about to... Uh, Pick a fight in some way. This person looks to me like they're going to pick a fight. They're going to... Um, I don't know. It has to do with this hangman. It's like they're going to force this person to... 
see something from a new perspective. So yeah, looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Um, there was a deck that I wanted to use and I don't know where I put it. Seems to be missing. Anyhow, we'll use this one. We're going to get one more card. I do feel like we have somebody here that has been having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. This person, whoever it is, is about to get a wake-up call. And it's a big one. It is absolutely a big one. They're about to fall flat on their face. They're going to lose something. They're going to lose something of value. transformation a fresh new way of living emerges this is like a new life as well so it does make sense so there is going to and it, it maybe it's a death there could be a death there could be um it feels like somebody is choosing a new life and they're going to be maybe they're forced to choose a new life I mean, this is being held accountable. This is truth being revealed. This is karma. This is a wake-up call. This is, are you ready to be judged because you're about to be? It's time to release the past. It's time to leave the past behind and focus on the future. Forgiveness is needed. Forgive the past so that you can move on and be happy. Let go of the grudges. Or you will be forced to. I'm going to read that card. Transformation. You're in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away. Replaced by incredible vitality and new pathways. Soon you'll be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. I mean, it just clarifies everything I just said. We're leaving the past behind. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if they, even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like I said, they're forced to change. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight the change. If you can't forgive, you better figure out a way. Or you will be forced to. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes. A big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to any old ways of viewing the world. This person has been. Don't hold on to any old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Remember I said, new perspective is needed. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot and it's all so very good. It really is. This is all about love. The past is dead. Good luck. 